Ugh. Ugh. I get the heebie-jeebies now. afternoon welcome to another episode of Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses well not another episode I'm actually answering a question um, one of my viewers and I forgot your name I'm sorry I'll have to write it down next time but um, she said that she has her very first draft horse and uh, she found my channel and she likes watching my videos thank you um, I hope I'm helpful I try to be helpful and what I know is draft horses. The lighter horses, they're all cool and all that. I'm preoccupied with a bug that's just like a massive sized bug on my driveway. Hold on, I'll show you. Oh God, that's not a bug. Oh, that's a spider. Oh, and it's got baby spiders all over it. Oh God, we gotta squash that, hold on. <gasps> oh yeah, okay. Oh God, I hate spiders. Ugh. Ugh. I get the heebie-jeebies now. All right. <laughs> Back to what I was talking about. Okay. I know drafts. Um, I've had horses in the past. I'm not one of those people that have uh, been born on a horse or whatever. I'm not like that at all. Um, I just worked in a barn. <laughs> mucking stalls and doing that to pay for riding lessons. So um, that's what I did. And then as I got older... Um, I did it again. I worked in a barn and I mucked out stalls and fed for lessons for my daughter. So I've been around horses, the light ones, and I've always, always, always loved the draft horses. So every time we go to the, um, the state fairs, I'd always be around the draft horses and the pulling. I, I had to be around them. They were so awesome. And I had all the briar horses, you know, just like every little kid does that's like infatuated with horses. I mean, really. So yeah. So when it came time for me to be able to get a horse, I went with the draft. Um, I, there was just no question about it. So we bought Jarvis and we bought Jack, which was a Tennessee walking horse for my husband. And you'll have to watch the videos in the past to find out Jack's whole history. And he's doing amazing and he's beautiful. So to answer your question, my friend, um, congratulations on your draft. It's amazing. I'm so glad that you got a draft because not a lot of people will ride the big draftees. But this is my trailer. She asked about the trailer and how big should she get one and she's having a hard time finding one. Yes, they're very hard to find. So this one is an older style. Um, I wanted a stock trailer, but unfortunately some stock trailers, they're just too short because they're used to, they're, they're for pulling cattle. Um, so I had to find a stock style three horse slant trailer. And that's what this is. This is a Miley. Um, they don't make them anymore and they're very hard to insure um, because nobody makes them. So this is a three horse slant trailer by Miley. It's got a tack room in there. I'm not going to show it to you because it's a disaster right now because we've got all my tack in there before it gets moved into there. <laughs> so it is a bumper pole. I highly suggest a gooseneck if you can find one, but if all you have is a truck and you have a bumper, then a bumper pole will do just fine. I can put Jarvis and Darcy in here with no problem lots of room left over now if I had I had Darcy Jarvis and Gracie May in here and it was tight <laughs> and the axles probably could be upgraded to a heavier duty axle because this is not meant to haul draft horses it's meant to haul regular sized thousand pound horses not 16 or 17 pound thousand pound horses or 1700 pound horses so um, on this side, I have my windows, which are really awesome, and it's got vents on the top, which you can't see. So I get three windows on this side, and uh, you've got the, the stock on this side, which it's got um, runners in there that you can cover up and keep it all enclosed if you want to. And then I'll show you the inside. Now the inside of this trailer, um, it's got the two double doors versus a ramp. Now. That's your choice if you want a ramp or if you want one that's got the two double doors. Um, I have taught both the boys to go up into both of them. 
and they'll also go in on one side of the doors open in case I can't open both side doors. But that's the interior and I have a separator here and there's supposed to be another divider there but I took it out because um, Jarvis Mr. Fatty takes up all the room. So Jarvis usually stays in the front there and he takes up the two spots and then I close this and then Darcy takes this back side. Most important is airflow. You want to make sure you have plenty of airflow. This, I'm about, I'm 5'7", and on my tippy toes, I can reach the ceiling. So I have a really hard time grabbing these vents here, but if I jump up, I can get it. <laughs> so this is probably about six feet, I don't know, five, six and a half, six and a half feet tall, maybe. You want, or even seven, seven probably at the very top. So seven feet tall is always a good starting point. Now your guy was 18 hands, I think you said, and an 18 hand horse will fit fine in here. Um, as a slant load. The straight loads, they tend to be a little bit more narrow and a little bit more scary and a little bit more compact and shorter. Um, but you can find some straight loads that are really super tall and that's really cool. But the slant loads, he can have all this extra room. He can stand sideways and he can put his head down if he wants to. I haven't had Jarvis hit his head and he's nearly 18 hands. So um, I hope this answers your question. Thank you very much for asking it and your comment on it. And good luck on finding yourself a trailer.